If you guys haven't yet, y'all need to hop on the Yerba Mate train. You wanna know why? Because it's the new pre-workout. You wanna know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm actually gonna make a pre-workout that's just like Yerba Mate inspired. But yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. I'm literally almost gonna crash the car in my neighborhood just trying to record this introduction. This week marks week two of prep. I mean, technically it's supposed to be tomorrow, Tuesday, but you know, I mean, you might as well just count it today because that's when we're starting the video, right? And I figured that this video is probably gonna be like a two, three day video. So, you know, it's definitely still considered week two of the prep. I'm feeling really tired this morning. I've been feeling really tired the last couple of mornings. I don't think it's necessarily from the start of prep. I, I've been having this type of thing going on lately and it's typically from people who take any like medication or have any sort of like anxiety disorders and so when I wake up in the morning, I'd like this weird thing going on where I'm someone who can use willpower. I think I've demonstrated that through this channel, but I cannot get my ass out of bed. It literally feels like, like I just simply can't. I don't know how to explain it because like I've been in positions where like, oh, you know, it's just harder to get up than normal or, you know, it's pretty difficult to get up in the morning, but I can still manage to do it. Like something's off. Like I simply cannot get out of bed. I don't know what it is. So yeah, I got that going on. It's been kind of rough, but other than that, Things have been feeling great. Once I get moving throughout the day, I'm pretty good for the most part. But yeah, we're on our way to the gym right now. If that isn't clear, considering it's the morning, we got some back and shoulders on the menu today. I'm interested to see how this workout goes because this will be my first back and shoulder sesh. Odd shit because Washington for basically almost the whole week is supposed to be in the 90s. To me, that's fine. Washington, that's, that's pretty hot. So I walked in the gym this morning. Usually I don't take my hoodie off until after my fourth set, my first workout. I came in here, I'm like, dude, I'm like sweating up a storm. Like I'm getting hot. And it hit me. It was hot as hell yesterday. It's gonna be hot as hell today. So that also means a good thing because when you're more hot, obviously you're a little more warmed up and your body's a little more looser. It's not all tight, it's not all cold, so it helps a lot. But I'll take it. But we're going to start off with some T-bar rows, focusing for this prep. Thickness in the back and also just like a lot more density in the lap portion of my back. That's like a spot in my back that's lacking. I brought up my back a lot over the last couple years, but my back is definitely my weakest point on my body besides my calves. I've been doing differently in terms of how I structure my shoulder workouts is I haven't been including as much front delt exercises if maybe like any at all because what happened over the course of many years of structuring my shoulder workouts with a lot of front delt movements is my front delts became overdeveloped because in a lot of other exercises like the bench press or any sort of chest movement your front delts are a secondary muscle group getting work during that so what will happen is they will become overdeveloped compared to your rear and lateral delts so for any of you guys that are newer to lifting maybe you're just like me I think that you should start incorporating or I would say start prioritizing your rear delt and your lateral delts over your front delts and work those out more during your shoulder workout other than your front delt because your front delts are always going to get some sort of workout on a chest day maybe even like a back day or whatever it might be something that i've been strongly doing just to make sure that everything is even and balances out boom daily stim booster i've been literally taking this thing daily man i think not only am i slightly addicted to the caffeine in it but also again the alpha gpc in this product really just increases my focus on the tasks i have to do during the day and that is just amazing for me just because it makes me get more things done faster because i'm focused rather than like getting distracted by a whole bunch of things I mentioned this product in a video that i did on supplements if you guys are interested at all in picking your else 
I'm gonna say pick yourself. Yeah, pick yourself. If you guys are interested in picking up this item at all, it'll be linked down in the description below, and Code Levi will save you 10% off. So far, again, remember I told you guys I thought maybe I'm experiencing some placebo. Definitely not placebo because when I'm drinking it and I take it, I'm not thinking like, oh, now I'm gonna be focused. I just drank it now as like a daily regimen. Like I look forward to drinking it simply just because I like it and I like what it's doing for me. Ah. So I actually downgraded the whip, unfortunately. The Tacoma just wasn't doing it for me. It just wasn't that fun, honestly. No, but I'm playing. This is not my car, it's my dad's friend's car. And he left it at our house for a few days just because reasons that I'm not gonna disclose. Um, it's really nothing that major. He just left it at our house, to be honest. And so I decided like, you know what? I'm gonna take this car and use it for a shoot for Kill Built. And so that's what we're doing today. It's super cool. It's an import from Japan. That's why it probably looks like nothing you've ever seen before, which is kind of weird considering the steering is still on the left-hand side because another country is on the right. So super awesome car. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. Nothing but a blast. Apparently it's just like a super old Bronco, but I'm starting to think that it's not a Bronco. I'm gonna do more research on it. I think it's from like the 1960s or 70s, so pretty damn old. Collection that we're shooting today for Kill Built is the Firefly t-shirt that's in here, which I'm gonna go out and show y'all. So this is it right here. I just feel like it goes with the vibe that we got going on with the truck and everything. So gonna throw this on, get these photos out of the way. If you guys are interested at all in this shirt, the shirt did drop recently. I only have two or three larges left two or three smalls left so i don't have a lot left in stock of this shirt just because it's probably like my best shirt i've honestly made yet super high quality super heavy shirt i love it and just investing everything i can into this brand just to like essentially make you guys happy and feel like you're a part of something bigger than just like a typical regular clothing brand so you guys support goes a long way in making that big community happen code killbill or levi will save you 10 percent off as well i almost forgot we got the hat as well, the camo hat. I'm surprised not as many people like this hat. I think it's just because it's camo. It's just like one solidified color. Like not a lot of people wear camo. So I get it, but I still think they're sick. Also, we got the caramel rice cakes on deck because we're on prep. And you want to know why I have caramel? Because they didn't have fudging chocolate. meal prep and we got the rice on deck you just saw the patties we got the potatoes in here don't want to get too close okay not only is maui gonna catch on fire but my damn house is every wednesday and sunday i meal prep now what i strongly suggest you guys do is you guys do the same thing not exactly on wednesday or sunday but i strongly suggest you guys do them a day during the week that you have available just because it helps so much with meal prep i find that i fall behind in meal prepping when i don't have a day structured for meal prep so always structure in a day where you can meal prep I always tell all my clients that too that i've coached before is like hey you need to have a set day that you meal prep or else you're going to begin to fall behind in that and then all of a sudden you're not going to be meeting your fitness goals because 80 percent of how your physique looks and fitness and everything is attributed to what you take into your body also honorable mention Bean, because it's her birthday. Oh. Bean, how's it feel to be old? She's currently six years old, seven next year. What, what does she want? Treats, because she's oh, so fat. You are fat, Bean. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> uh, this isn't a toy, this is a happy birthday bone. That is hilarious. Are you tired of skipping the gym? Are you tired of laying in bed all day because you don't know how to work out? Are you tired of being like a pug? Are you looking for something to follow along with? Well, we have just the thing for you. What's going on everyone? My name is Levi Mack, founder and owner of PrimeAesthetics.co. What you guys just saw was being prior to picking up one of our programs, and this is her after her three month transformation on our three month program. Now, just a little brief overview on our programs. Our programs are met to design to meet your weekly needs. In other words, if you have a busy schedule or if your schedule doesn't necessarily align with other programs out there that tell you what to do on specific days, don't worry, we have that covered for you. Our programs are very flexible and adjust according to your schedule. 
Not only that, but we give you a huge variety of weightlifting exercises, cardio exercises, and mobility exercises, and we show you guys how to combine those together to fit your week. If you guys are interested at all in picking up any of these programs, we have a one month available in case you wanna try it, a three month available, and a six month one available. Now, I do wanna let you guys know that these programs will be increasing in price soon, but once you purchase these programs, anytime there's a new program implemented into these programs, you get it for free for a lifetime. With that being said, head over to primusx.co right now to get started on your transformation just like Bean did. So last time we were out here, I didn't even end up tossing in the edit for it just because I simply didn't catch anything. And I was really mad about that. And I was like, bro, no one wants to see me like not catch anything, right? Even though you guys probably wouldn't have cared all that much, I cared that much. So hopefully we catch something today. If not, probably just gonna toss in like a three seconds later type of clip from like SpongeBob or something. So hopefully we catch something. The reason I'm showing you guys this during my week is just because it's super important for me while I'm on my bodybuilding prep to have somewhat of a social life because it already gets sucked out of you because you're on prep and everything, you know, revolves around your diet, training and everything. So it's really important for me to schedule out times like these during the day for me to come out and hang out with someone, go fishing with someone, get out in nature and just honestly have time aside from just being alone. Oh, dude, did you see that? this I lost one again like a big one I've never tried that before eventually all right Jose caught a fish everyone nice little rainbow for the day man I literally rushed over here I had to switch over to my iPhone too because it's literally like pitch black out it doesn't look like it because I turned up the brightness but beautiful little trout yeah Woo! We lost so many. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps up the fishing. Man, let me tell that is the second time we almost got stung. Thank goodness Jose caught something. Without that, this would have been a waste, honestly. I mean, it's never really a waste. It's nice to be out in nature, but it's about 9.04 right now, so I gotta head home, shower, um, get back to y'all's comments. That's what I do before I get go to bed. I always get back to y'all's comments and stuff. Um, yeah, pretty good day so far. Hot too, it was 94 out. And, uh, man, I'm going to sleep pretty good tonight, I'm sure. All right, so we got some big updates for Kill Bill coming next month and further on. And they're really important updates to the brand that I wanted to let you guys in on because you guys are literally what makes the brand and my channel what they are. Without you guys, this stuff can't happen. So, like, you guys need to be in on this. So. I'm gonna update you guys on everything. For those who don't know, Kill Bill is my own personal clothing brand, or not personal, it's our clothing brand, like the community that we've created here on YouTube. I'm talking about you guys, the viewers, and I. This is something that we have created together. And so I need to let you guys in on it because, again, you guys are a part of this. All right, so first things first, next month, we have two items dropping. The first item that we're gonna be dropping next month are these shorts right here. Now, they are only gonna be available in green, and the reason being is just because the cost to get multiple colors and multiple pairs of them is just, it's insane. I'm gonna go over the cost with you guys here in just a second. But anyway, these shorts are gonna be dropping next month. Now, there are gonna be a couple upgrades to these shorts as these are just a sample pair. Now, the strings are gonna be actually on the inside instead of the outside, and the strings are also going to be upgraded because these are just, they suck. And also, these are gonna be an inch and a half shorter because I think they're a little too long for like the vintage kind of look I was going for. So we're gonna raise them an inch and a half so you no longer have to roll these up because I personally don't like rolling my shorts up. These will be cool if you guys haven't seen them yet. They got like the white line. They got the cut that I was going for and they also have a embroidered logo of Kill Bill on the left leg. The second item that we're gonna be dropping with the green shorts next month is this white tank top right here. Now you guys have probably seen this tank top in other videos just because I've had these tanks on hand for some time just because I ordered them such a long time ago. I actually have been working on these shorts longer than this tank. I've been working on these shorts almost now for a year. I finally got a manufacturer to make them the way that I wanted. 
But with this tank, we're also gonna be only doing one color just because of the same reason for the green shorts. It just, again, costs too much at the moment for me to do multiple different colors, multiple different sizes. So we're gonna be only doing white, but this tank is fully customized. And the reason it's fully customized is because originally they sent me one, as some of you guys saw in a previous video, and the armholes just weren't long enough for the look that I was going for. I was looking for like this retro high school cut tank top. Like when I was in high school, we would take our tanks in football and we would cut them so that like a lot of like your side showed just because it made you look a lot more muscular. And so that's what we were going for with this tank. I dropped the armholes quite a bit. And then we also have a logo on the back that's on the front, just smaller up near the neck area. And we also have this embroidery on the side, this tab. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm trying to keep like this kill built tab, like a thing that I do on every single type of clothing that we do. Just to keep it like this piece that people get used to seeing. Now, originally I was gonna be dropping three items next month instead of the two items that you guys just saw. The reason being is because I originally only had those two items planned and I was like, okay, well maybe I need to toss in a third item that's a little warmer just because I knew the drop was gonna be in September. And September's a month where it's like still summer, it's still nice out but we're kind of like making that transition into October, November, those kind of like colder months and whatnot. So I was like, okay, I'll drop, you know, this crew neck with it too. So originally it was gonna be the crew neck, the shorts and the tank. However, I decided not to drop the crew neck simply because of the cost. As it sounds, the cost is a very huge determining factor in a lot of my decision making on what drops and what colors and all that. And so I wanted to break down the price to you guys so that you guys get an understanding as to why only certain colors come out, only why a certain amount of quantity comes out and whatnot. So we're gonna start off with the crew neck. How much did this cost? So the crew neck alone without shipping is like $1,400. Let's just say that I'm gonna guess shipping for this is around $500. So we're looking at $1,900 total for this crew neck right here. The tank tops themselves for a big order quantity of 50 was $540. And the shorts were about $760. Now for those three items, it brings us to around $3,200, give or take. Also really quick, the reason I'm in my chair right now is switch up the angles because I want to show you guys something really cool on the laptop in just a second. But anyway, $3,200 isn't that much, especially if you have like a productive clothing brand and you're able to make like a big turnaround on that $3,200. But for Kill Bill and I right now, and like us as a community, Kill Bill is not doing that good right now. And that's why it's a lot of money for me at the moment. And it's not not doing good. It's just not doing good at all. I don't say that because I want you guys to feel bad for me and go buy something from Kill Bill now that I've said that but I, I just wanna be honest with you guys because I think there is this misunderstanding on your guys' part, and I'm not calling you guys out, I'm not mad or anything, but I want you guys to simply understand this concept that I'm going to explain to y'all now that you guys have an idea of how much this stuff costs. So a lot of the times I've seen in the comments and on Instagram, on social media and whatnot, that, oh, is Killbolt gonna drop this in that color? Or are we gonna have this kind of size? Are we gonna have these kind of tanks? And the thing is, is that, I want to do this stuff for you guys, but I can't do that unless I have the money for it, or in other words, the support for the brand. Everything that I make from Killbolt goes right back into the brand. I don't take any of it out of pocket and toss it to my bank account. I put everything right back into Killbolt. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is like, if you guys want these certain things, you guys have to support the brand. You know, for example, Nike didn't grow to what it is just because people were asking for it. No, people bought into it because they liked the idea of it. And then as it expanded, they got what they wanted from it and it made them feel part of the community. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you guys want these things from Kill Bill, you guys got to buy from Kill Bill. Now, I understand not every item you might like on there, but if there is something that you're like, man, I like this brand. I like what it stands by. And this thing is pretty cool pick it up, man. And I'll send you, you know, a postcard. I'll send you guys another discount to get off of it. Like I want to make this something for you guys bigger than a clothing brand. And I can only do that because of you guys. So I just wanted to make that clear really quick because I think a lot of the times people forget the cost that goes into this stuff. They forget about, you know, how things grow and whatnot. And I didn't want to, again, I'm not mad about it, but I wanted to make it clear to y'all that if you guys are as invested into making this something big as I am, then I need y'all support. Now that's essentially it. And I, again, just want to make it clear that a brand can only go as far as the support that it gets. So any support guys is appreciated. Even if it's just like a $20 beanie, you guys would be 
shocked at how far that goes because it all adds up at the end of the day. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. And as always, die trying to do what you love because the sky's the limit. I'll see y'all in the next one.